Hello everybody. Welcome back. Short ride number 87. This one comes out of Southeastern Wrestling along the Gulf Coast down there. Uh, and it's with a Hall of Famer, man. Uh, in, his, in his younger years. And uh, you're going to have an opportunity in this one to see uh, Paul Orndorff in his very first uh, wrestling match for Southeastern uh, Gulf Coast, uh, 1981. This was, it goes back to 1981, and uh, let's have a look at it. Take a look and let's hear your comments as we watch the action. All right. I just tried to go after his leg right there, and he tried it after me, which I figured he would do, and I got behind him. Good and, wide uh, stance there, Paul. You got him blocked. He's not going in place. Exactly right. When it's hard for a man to turn you over to there, and anybody knows anything about uh, or amateur wrestling also, is that you always keep a good wide base because any time, you know, they can roll your opinion in a, in a manner that way. Larry's a good, uh, uh, tough guy. You know, he's he's unorthodox. You never know what he's going to do next, and that's what makes this man so dangerous because uh, every time I've ever gotten into a ring with a man, I've never uh, never sold him uh, short for one minute because as soon as you do, that's when you can get beat, and I've never done this. So I don't care who it is. Uh, maybe the guy is green and maybe he isn't. I go out there with one thing in mind, and that's to try to defeat that man and, and not give him an edge. Paul, as I recall, one time you told me that uh, throughout your college and uh, professional football career, you did uh, retain some of the training methods taught to you by the different trainers for tendon strength and so forth, and you combine those with a good weightlifting program as well. That's very true, uh, Les. You know, you know more about myself than I do. You're right. Uh, I've done a lot of stretching and a lot of, uh, a lo especially a lot of stretching exercises because uh, so many people that weight train, they, they forget all about stretching. And, uh, you know, most important thing about stretching is, uh, you know, it keeps your muscles really... Uh, uh, you know, flexible, you can do a lot of things, and that's something I've always done. Talking about flexibility, we saw a good move there, uh, Paul making the, uh, the leap over uh, Cheatham, catching him with that reverse monkey flip in the arm drag once again. And of course, uh, Paul, we're again, back to titles, we're talking about championships, and uh, it's wow. no uh, big secret that world champion Harley Race will be in this area uh, in early March of this year, and I know this is one of the reasons that also you've come to the southeastern area. And that's very true. You know, I've had a couple of battles with Harley Race, and uh, I've beaten him a couple of times, and there's just some way, you know, I'm not the only person that has, but there's a lot of people here that's capable of doing it also. But uh, I know how he is, and if somehow or another he just keeps, he keeps that belt. And uh, his time is coming very near, and I just hopefully, I just hope that I'd be the one that wrestles Harley Race here. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other prestigious titles that are here, uh, a lot of them. And I'll tell you what, you got some fine wrestlers here. I mean, there are some fine ones. I just got back from a tour from Japan, and I'll tell you what, Southeastern wrestlers, uh, some of the wrestlers here have made a name for themselves because they're even talking about them clear over there. A lesson that's 18,000 miles away and of course I'm, I'm just looking forward to it you're handling a tough customer in veteran Larry Cheatham here and of course speaking of tough tough customers uh, Ron Bass uh, Randy Rose Dennis Condry Johnny yes, Valiant the name just a few that are uh, trading holes with people in our area that's right well like I said I came here for one reason and, and I'll tell you what and I'm not saying this because I'm here right now because if they've heard it you know and you say it everywhere you go but there's as much good talent here as anywhere in the country and I'm talking about the stubs and the, and the roses and the basses. And uh, just uh, it's just unbelievable. And, and that's what I like. I like competition. That's what I've done all my life. This is how I thrive. And I like, to, I like to be put to a test. And they believe me, they got people here that can put you to a test. And I'm looking forward to it. Of course, talking about thriving in tough competition, Charlie, as we're watching the action here, uh, Cheatham working uh, Paul over some, but uh, Paul battling right back in a, with a great second effort. Good knee left by Orndorff. Well, you got to stay on him. That's what I tried to do. I pretty much stayed on him to a point and dropped that big knee across his nose, and that takes some of the sting out of him for a while. Well-rounded athlete. Uh, Paul, we saw the arm wrestling tape with Ox Baker last week, and this is something you participated in in several parts of the country. Right. This is a suplex that I've more or less done myself. You know, I hadn't seen this the last time I saw you wrestle, Paul, which has been about a year and a half ago. This is something you've developed just recently then. Right. I've... Uh, that's some great wrestling there. I mean, uh, Paul could do it. Paul was such a great, great athlete. Wow, amazing. And uh, oddly enough, uh, he it wasn't he, he didn't even wrestle live. He showed a match uh, of him and a guy named Larry Cheatham out of Tennessee wrestling in Louisiana. So um, a great match, though. And uh, what a great wrestler Paul was and a great guy, period. And, uh, you know, he still is a great dude. And uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, 
joining us for these. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And we're going to bring in another one.